Most guy the back the black black sack ni khala ya. But man, British Colonia, this country. And here is Afghanistan. You tam jar kali tam. Good friends, children, stomach. This is my home. Black black sack ni khala. Mama is just getting used to this because I tam speech come up. You gonna love that. After coming to San Ignacio, when the whole town was asleep, I was overjoyed to find one restaurant open. Since then, Eva's became my salvation, my go-to spot for hanging out with the locals like Jesse, a bartender who makes Avery rum concoctions, Sopal, also known as Snoop, a mural artist and a handyman, the ambassador for Belkin, and Eve, all of whom gave me a lot of insight about Belize. Hello, hello, my name is Jesse. We're here in Belize. Cane sugar or cane is grown here in Belize. That's why we have a lot of um, rums here. Mm -hmm. And I'm, I know I will not lie to you, but these are you know, some of the best rums you Oh, yeah. Get. All about rum. Mm -hmm. Only in Belize did I truly start appreciating rum. I often dismissed it as a cheap mixer for sweet drinks, but here, rum is smooth and silky. Burnt caramel and oak linger on your tongue. And rum is part of a vital sugar industry in Belize. And I assumed that like in many other Caribbean countries, it was the Europeans who brought the white gold. But I was wrong. It was the Yucatec Mayans from Mexico, to be exact. We have um, pepper bird. And right now we're also um, doing the caramel ale. So we literally are wearing the shirt of booze. <laughs> yes, Belican, yes. yes. But what really reigns supreme here is, of course, Belican, the national beer of Belize. One cool fact, I kept wondering why bottled beer in Belize is served with a cap removed and a napkin neatly wrapped around the neck. Turns out, because of humidity, rust collects on the cap, so with the napkin you're supposed to wipe it off and enjoy. I have we only had like four a days. Lot of friends that have come so. down here to Belize, right now, and I give them a tour of Belize, mm -hmm. and they literally move to Belize. Oh, For them, it's more well. cheaper. You know, yes. you don't pay taxes. This is how we take the blue job shot, right? We don't no, use our no hands. hands. No hands. No hands. After last night, I had a very bad hangover, but I had to see Belizeans having fun at the river party. Because when it came on a good Friday, the whole town was quiet, celebrating Easter at home. <laughs> Are you guys ready? Belizeans are very religious, three in five are Roman Catholic. But that wasn't always the case. Belize was originally home to Mayans, who worshipped the sun, moon and rain, and it was the Spanish conquistadors who forced the Mayans to convert to Catholicism. So after being power grabbed by the Spanish, then stolen by the British, who brought enslaved people from Africa, workers from China and the East Indies, 
Belize is now remarkably diverse and multiracial. People speak English, Spanish, and Creole, plus seven other languages, and more than half are mestizos, mixed-race people of Spanish and Maya descent, and quarter are Creole, people with African origins. Maybe it's the cultural diversity that might explain a recurring theme here. People come here for a vacation and end up staying forever. My Airbnb hostess is originally from Uzbekistan. She came to Belize, fell in love with the country and her husband, and never left. <laughs> ah, must be so nice to live here. Yes, it is nice most of the time, yes. Most of the time. Is it the best weather right now? Um, for tourists, the best weather is between November and February, March, I would say. Oh. It cools off more at night, right? December and it doesn't get as time. hot. Oh yeah. That's why it's like high season. This is end of high season, supposedly, but we have like high season right now. <laughs> Super hot, so hot, hot this time. Oh. May, April, May, June. How long have you been here? Oh, six years already. Six years already? Wow. Six years. Mm-hmm. Your body kind of adjusts to it, right? Yes, yeah. that is well. Right now, you're just like, oh, that is well. just regular temperature. We have Wishwilly River Cabanas in Santa Elena, Cayo, Belize. The best place to go. It's, we're right here in town, only a 10-minute walk to the market, and uh, downtown San Ignacio. Plus, uh, it's in the jungle, because we have the best of both worlds. We're overlooking the river, yeah. we have the jungle to see, plus the uh, walkability of a community of being in town. I'm from Canada. I come down once, I brought my husband down once again, and then uh, we went home, sold everything, drove, in, drove down in our truck mm -hmm. with everything we had left. Sold everything, put our dog, a suitcase, and a laptop in the back seat, and drove away. Wow. And uh, Good to know. Like, I started uh, salsa business here. Yeah. If you guys ever want to come back, <laughs> this is my home. This is our home. We absolutely love it. I sell salsa, and we have the cabanas, and this is what we do. My family, my grandfather, in the three years ago, is a British, British colonial, this country. This country is, is a British, Guatemala fighting territory from Belize, no. Mm -hmm. This is the British Honduras. Belize has been claimed by many, but Guatemala seems to not let it go. They even include Belize as part of Guatemala on its driver's licenses. Talk about bold. What's up, Sue? <laughs> Oh, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Okay, this is okay, this is it. <laughs> and almost by reflex, I came right back to Eva's. You know, Guatemala might claim Belize as theirs, but it's the British that influenced the country a lot, from the language they speak to how they live now. The United Kingdom made Belize a colony to cut its mahogany and timber, stripped most of Belize's rainforests, and stole masses of land from the native Mayas. So I wondered, what kind of a relationship does Belize have with the UK now? I'm very happy with the, the kids of uh, her HRH. Her Royal Highness, mm -hmm. because yeah, they do help a lot there. with the community, oh, especially really? being a third world like country. They do there. help like a billion million. They oh, give they back. And they do. They do conserve. A they conserve here. a lot the of mm. properties. And that's what a queen here. All of that. So like you know, like there's a reserve oh, where the jaguars go and they all of that. Um, they do reserve all of that. Mm -hmm. and, um, um, I'm very very happy with them. Although Belizeans went through oppression and slavery, seems like Belize is ready to move on. Ready to squash old disputes, build anew, and celebrate their differences. Make sure to check out the upcoming series of videos about this beautiful country. If you like this video, subscribe, like, comment, and all that jazz. Bala! That's it, man. Take what you talk to do it, huh? See you later. <laughs>